Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and I decided to clear up a very big subject today since I've been getting asked this since I've blown up in October. I've got some information about why I blew up in October on my card but to put it simply I made some animations that didn't follow the subject of this channel and they blew up and I don't make content like that anymore so that's why my subs are going down and these Royal High videos don't get as many views. But today I wanted to clear up the reason why I don't have a Royal High badge, even though I have 160,000 subscribers, and why I simply do not want one, and why I cannot get one. So if you don't know what a Royal High badge is, if you have enough subscribers or followers or blah 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 in Royal High, you will get given a Royal High celebrity badge. My graphics are terrible right now, all my days bro. So I think it's called Crowned Royalty, I'm not too sure, I'm not sure why they're not loading. Let me change my graphics and see if that does it any better. Uh, yeah, they just decided to not load, okay, lovely, that's great, okay, Lo lovely job though, that's wonderful, just what I needed. So I'm going to have to stick to explaining then, aren't I? So, a Royal High badge is given to someone who has a social media account promoting the game, making videos, content, posts about it, anything, streams, it can be literally anything. And if they have enough subscribers or followers or blah 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 and they follow guidelines, like no horrible posts, no like mean ones, basically they're just common sense ones, they will be given a badge which they can give out in Royal High so when someone sees their, their user in game, or even if they join their server or the other way around, they will get given a badge and in their journal or on their Roblox profile, it will say, I've met blah 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 YouTuber in Royal High and it will promote the game and the YouTuber. So it's kind of like a win-win in both ways. And every year at about either the end of the year or towards the end of the year, an application will be released by Royal High so you can apply yourself. And recently, I did apply myself to get in and I was not accepted, this was last year, and I came to realise why I would never be accepted, because it was actually kind of common sense, and I knew this was definitely an agreement Royal High has come to together, because in October I went viral for two reasons, one for the animations that I did based on Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> weird as it is, and two for calling out a developer at the time for clickbaiting and manipulating children. If I get death threats again, which has happened before, if you did not hear about it, then I will just simply not care, because I've received so many at this point, hundreds of thousands a day, I could not care less. You can call me out for being transphobic, even though it has nothing to do with it, I simply do not care anymore. I've received so many death threats, I do not care. You can stick it. If someone is clickbaiting and manipulating children, it should be spoken about. And I'm sick of people going over that and thinking it's nothing. And at this point, I feel like the I'm the only Royal High YouTuber who will call out Royal High's issues because no one else will. Because people have to tiptoe carefully around developers and other YouTubers because they won't get a badge. And the reason why I call out issues is because I do not care anymore. When I heard that I wouldn't get a badge and I wouldn't have a chance, yes, I was upset. Because every single Royal High YouTuber's goal, at some point, will be to get a badge in-game. And there are a lot more YouTubers getting badges nowadays. Earlier this year, a YouTuber by the name of Call Me Haley, who does amazing content, go subscribe to her, she's changed her dress from press, I think. She has called out Royal High on their treatment of badge holders. And she showed screenshots and everything. And this was horrid. I could not imagine what her and the other badge holders like Lukash were going through. Royal High ended up controlling who you follow on social media, the content you post. So if you decided to post content including, is Royal High hard for new players? They will tell you to take it down, which is what happened to Call Me Halo. And that on its own is despicable. In my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinions, I did speak to a few Royal High players about this to see if they agreed with me. If you promote a game for someone which has went viral because of you, you deserve respect and you would deserve respect anyway if it didn't go viral because you're choosing to promote that game because you like it. Not because you were told to, because you liked it. 
if I had a game like Royal High or any game and I had content creators promoting my game for me and helping it become a big sensation in the dress up world, I would give them so much respect that I I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. I'd only be giving it out and I wouldn't know how to not give anyone else respect. That's how much respect I would give someone. So the reason why I don't want a badge is because of how Royal High treats badge holders. They were ignoring her. If she had to speak about an issue, they would purposely leave her unread, or she could tell since they weren't replying to her, but if she posted a video like, Royal High's hard for new players, they would immediately contact her. But if she had to speak about an issue or even ask them a question, they would ignore her. So it's very, very clear that they are ignoring her, even if, if, even if it's on Discord, where it doesn't even say left on red. Like, it's very clear to tell, like, due to the, like, patterns of messages they were going through. So I don't want a badge because of how the developers have treated badge holders. Even if that was in the past, I simply don't care. No one gets to, like, no one should get treated with disrespect like that. I do not care. I won't be getting one. And number two, I simply won't be getting one because of the amount of death threats I got and how my calling out video was so twisted. It's, it's unbelievable. I am labelled in Royal High as a problematic creator and a transphobic one at that. So a lot of people have different opinions of me. Some people love my content since I'm not afraid to call out people for what they are doing. And some people don't like me because either they simply don't, which is fair, like you can have different opinions. And some people don't like me because they've also been manipulate, manipulated by lies like that, which is insane. The calling out video that I created is still up and it's been up for a while. In that video, I didn't discuss anything to do with B-Place's gender. All I talked about was the fact that a grown 25 year old woman is clickbaiting children and manipulating them for money, which is insane. And that was the only point I had to make in that video. I have transgender people in my family and to be called transphobic for no reason when I have done literally nothing aimed at transgender people or even spoke badly about it, it's confusing towards me because it makes me think, what exactly have I done here? Like, what's going on? It's very confusing for me. And another reason why I won't get a badge, which is something that a lot of badge holders actually relate to, and if you are a badge holder watching this video, please do let me know if you agree on this with me. I do not want people coming up to me, being a fake supporter of my channel and going, oh my god, I love your channel, can I have a badge? I had someone come up to me once because I had in my user here, Jelly Bee Machine, 160k plus on YouTube. Someone said, OMG, I love your TikToks, can I get a badge? I don't have a TikTok. Like, I have it, but people won't know it's me on there. <laughs> and I was immediately like, TikTok, like, what do you mean? And they said, yeah, oh my, oh my god, I love your, I love your TikTok. Like, I, I was so confused, so I just left the game at that point. Like, I would think it's very uncomfortable to have people come up to you who don't actually even know who you are and don't even know if you have a badge or not and go, oh my god, can I have your badge, please? And they keep begging and begging and begging you. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, like Royal Luna and other ones, talk about, like, there's people stalking them in private servers and that makes me very uncomfortable to think that could have happened to me. Like, I don't want to get put through that. Like, yes, I understand you want a badge. A lot of people do, since in Royal High they're hard to earn. Like, I completely understand your point, but the way you're going around it makes us feel uncomfortable. I'm not sure if you would enjoy being a content creator and having people left, right and centre if you didn't have a badge going, can I have your badge? I absolutely adore your content. Because in reality, they won't even know who you are most of the time. They're just saying that so they can get your badge. The amount of people I have coming up to me who are fake supporters pretending to get things for free and badges and blah, blah, blah. It's insane. Once I did a giveaway and the giveaway winner came out and someone made a very identical almost replica of the account who won as like 
an alt to try and get the items off me and it I almost ended up falling into that trap and that makes me so sad because people do forget how vulnerable YouTubers are a lot of the time because we do do giveaways a lot we do give a lot of things away because a lot of YouTubers have got a lot more items than average Royal High players because we play the game more we do streams like we play it more so you can get more levels and diamonds and items and blah 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 it's just very upsetting that people decide to use us a lot, badge holders, and even if we aren't badge holders, and even if we are just content creators, it's very sad. But that's pretty much all I have to speak about, so let's do a little rundown. The first reason why I don't want a badge is because of how Royal High developers have and probably are still treating badge holders. It makes me uncomfortable. Number two, probably because I wouldn't get accepted into getting one anyway because of how I went down in October for being labelled as a transphobic creator when I'm actually not, because I called out a content creator who manipulates kids. Number three, because it makes me uncomfortable when people will come up to me pretending to be a fake supporter, going, can I have your badge, when they don't even know who I am. If I sound harsh in this, it's because I'm so done with the Royal High community, mostly the developers, the Royal High community has been coming together a lot more as a whole recently because of Royal High's developers being absolute garbage and utterly rubbish at their job recently. Like, partnering with Zionist companies and stuff. Like, it just, it's so backwards, man. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of anything that would make more sense than that. But that's pretty much my opinion. And if you are a Royal High YouTuber who hopefully wants to get a badge one day, I hope this video does make you reconsider what you could be getting yourself into and if you want to call someone out because of something they have done call them out for it and if you get banned from being able to get a badge or something or you probably won't get accepted like me then do know that it's not your job to make the devs happy it's your job to make the community happy if you've got the, co the community on your side then that's all that matters. But thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and make sure to check out my last other videos about Royal High recently, it's been a very problematic thing, and check out my Twitter and my Instagram as well, I do giveaways almost every day, and I will see you in my next video, goodbye.